Hello everyone, my name is ABA Pickle and welcome back to Second Extinction Tips and Tricks for Beginners Part 15. Today we are doing another character review uh, instead of a little weapon review. When it comes to the uh, the weapons, I believe the only ones we have left are the grenade launcher, uh, the SMG, and yeah. Actually, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, the grenade launcher and the SMG. That's crazy. Um... So, today we're doing another uh, one of the hero reviews, character reviews. We're going to be going over my girl, Rosie. This is going to be one of the easiest reviews for me because I play her absolutely the most out of any of the other ones. Um, I play Ortega when I'm in a group. Jurgen's another good solo character, but Rosie is the best solo character for starting players. If you do not believe me, try her. Um, her abilities, field repair. Uh, she'll gladly... Gradually restore damage to any unbroken health segments. So if you haven't noticed, health is broken up into segments. And there's certain bars that go in between them. And if you even have a sliver left of that health bar, it'll regen to the full. Um, other characters won't do that. You'll have to heal. So she has positive reinforcement for when you are alone or in a group. It basically is the equivalent of just a, an AoE heal. It goes a giant radius around her. And she's like, woo! and yeah good job guys and your health goes up so basically she's a bard um and she also has her static barrier for crowd control if you haven't seen them uh i will give good examples you get to put two down and they last a certain amount of time and eventually you can put a third one down uh and then you can pick them up again to refresh your cooldown regardless of how uh you know uh, how much time is left it'll completely reset one cooldown so i'll show you an example of that when we get in there so we're just going to go into a bit of an expedition here let's throw it on hard we're going to choose our girl rosie my recommended build for the my girl rosie is i like to bring the artillery cannon or the machine gun now the rocket launcher is good i i had my review recently about the the rocket launcher it is a phenomenal weapon um I like to switch it up. I like to play easy. Artillery cannon with my uh, build, which you can find in my uh, pre-season 5 video. Um, it is great at crowd control and also direct damage. Um, I honestly... I, I don't like shooting the rocket launcher because I feel like the rocket launcher is a better overall weapon, personally, for me. Uh, I also like the minigun just because of the fact that I have this awesome skin for it. Uh, and also, uh, it's pretty good with area of effect, but a little banana girl here is happy with a rocket launcher. Uh, so any of these three weapons are the ones I recommend. If you're going to use the machine gun or the shotgun, just choose Ortega. Uh, these are not weapons I would recommend bringing on Rosie personally, because there's better weapons you can bring. So I'm going to show off the, uh, the minigun here, and we're also going to bring I, I, secondary is up to you. It depends on what you prefer. Some people prefer the pistol, some the revolver, some the SMG. I'm going to bring the revolver uh, because when you get a critical kill with my build, it refills the magazine. And the minigun is going to need that because it's a long reload speed. Uh, and because you have so much ammo in the minigun, I recommend bringing the ammo kit, the equipment drop, and the health stem, of course. So let's get into this and then I'll show off her abilities. All right, so to show you guys an example, she has six bars of health. One is armored, and our girl here with this minigun, of course, with every single enforcer can equip it. Um, it, it she's tanky. She's got good damage. Uh, she's got that stun I was telling you about with the static barriers. You're going to charge me, aren't you? There you are. Okay. Oop. Wow, that really... Okay, we're going to set up our barrier here, and we're going to stand in it. So now he should stand up and get stunned by it, maybe, maybe not. Um, I've been having some issues with it. It seems a little uh, a little glitched at the moment. Um, so sometimes like the it doesn't like to stun as much as you would expect. And also, they have to stand in it for a decent time. Come on. Oh, see? He got stunned by it. Um, the armored bulls have a little bit more of a resistance to it. So as you can see, I do have a third little 
little thing and it'll arc between them. Even though it's got like a third of its time left, I can pick it back up. Oh, well, I had a fourth, apparently. We're gonna put that here. I like to create myself a little cube. Gives a little, little good defensive area. And the thing I like to do with Rosie here is as you're going in and out, um, just keep going in between. So if there's raptors in front of you, back up through it. It'll chase you through it and get stunned. If they chase through it and jump through it and don't get stunned, what you do is you immediately go back to over here and you, you bring put them and you between it. Eventually they will run through it and you will get um you, you'll get them the stun, the crowd control will be really good. And it's just something that makes Rosie, in my opinion, one of the most overpowered characters. And also, so you might notice whenever you decide, oh, wow, I'm getting hurt. If, uh, if only I could remember what button was. Oh, it's H. Cool. And then you do it. And then you're stuck healing for a little bit. He slows you down. You get hurt during it. Uh, you can cancel it, obviously, once you're done. But it slows you down. You can't fire. Uh, let's see here. Hey, guys. I want you to come over here and beat me up, please. Yep. Also, just think about this for a second. Are these boys hitting me, and granted they're just raptors, but they're taking a while. A good old long while. Me just standing still. And... It's as easy to heal though. See, like when I go to heal, oh no, I can't shoot them. I can't do anything like that. I have to just walk away. So we're just gonna oh, stand in that so we can heal slow or da deal damage. Get Words are hard, so I can get damage dealt slowly. Okay. With this, though, instead of having to heal, I can just give a thumbs up, and we're good to go. Continue healing, continue firing. And it just makes her really strong. Um, even against, like, T-Rexes, which don't attack very quickly. Uh, against bulls, uh, flatbacks, her, her um, static berries will stun bulls, will stun flatbacks, will stun T-Rexes. Um, it'll knock flatbacks on their sides, which is phenomenal because in my opinion, flatbacks are the most annoying enemy in the game. I think there's a lot of people that think that as well. T-Rexes don't provide as much of a threat as you would think once you get used to them, of course, unless they become enraged. Um, so, uh, yeah, Rosie just offers a very wide range of things for you to be able to do. And when you're in a group, being able to just heal and make sure your your allies aren't dying and you can do crowd control and massive damage and you don't have to worry about going down. Uh, she's a, a great member to the team. And to be honest, like if your team isn't running with a Rosie, I recommend you guys figuring out who wants to play her. She's a big old girl. She's very strong. You won't go down. Probably have highest damage. Um, I mean, when it comes to Ro Rosie, though, there's not much else that I would say uh, to to really recommend on how to play her. It's just kind of run at the enemy. She's she is a tank. They heals, and. You really don't have to worry about too much. Just make sure your spacing's good and such. Um, she's great. She is my favorite character. Like compared to all the other characters, like now that I'm out of healing, all I have to do is just deal damage to enemies. And as I'm dealing damage, it will get my thumbs up back. And it happens really fast, especially when you use the minigun, which is another reason why I like it. Um, and it just kind of feels broken for solo players this is the way to go because you don't have your friends to rely on you don't have uh you have to deal with the same amount of dinos that deal the same amount of damage because it doesn't scale um and i don't know it just seems that i, I almost feel invincible whenever i use rosie like i i never have to worry about things she is the character that when I went on insane to three star every single uh, mission, I was Rosie every single time. Um, 
and she's so simple easy to use just watch your health watch your teammates health and then put up your barriers properly um the the pathing of the raptors and everything else will eventually get stuck and jammed uh into in between your barriers as long as you position them properly like don't do a little baby fence don't don't do that that's a bad idea um other than that, she's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I, I really just can't express enough how much I absolutely love this character. And I don't think she's unfairly balanced. I really don't. Because, like, when you're in a group, there's times when you're on insane difficulty that people will still go down. And when that happens, I mean, what are you going to... Set up a static barrier over their body? But, I mean... You still have to clear the enemies, which which is why I prefer the minigun, because at a certain point it uh it does that area of effect pulse, which allows you to get them up quickly. So um I would say she is the best character in Second Extinction right now. So um if you think someone else is the best character, I'd love to hear your argument. Leave it down in the comments below. Um but I appreciate you guys uh taking the time to watch my video and uh my name is AP Pickle. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did and you want to see more content. Uh, if you want to be a part of the community, I do have a Discord server where you can come over, ask me questions, just talk with me, play games with me. I'm, I'm always down. Um, I got a bit of a hectic work schedule, but I mean, when I'm available, I'm always down to play games with you guys. So, uh, thank you guys so much for this love and support. Thank you guys for the suggestions for videos. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.